Hi, my name is Owen. I'm from Makati in the Philippines and I'm going to show you how I take care of my Vanda. I keep my Vanda bare-rooted, meaning I don't use any media and I don't keep it in a pot. I keep my Vanda outside hanging on my balcony where it gets lots of ventilation. Vandas like high temperature so that's not a problem. I, li I live in the Philippines, tropical country. I'm not sure what kind of Vanda this is, so if you can tell me, leave a comment below. Um, I water my Vanda every day, twice a day actually, once in the morning and then one when I get another, another one when I get home from work maybe 5, 5.30 in the afternoon, where there's still some sunlight. Um, I'm going to show you how I water my Vanda. Vanda roots are not always silvery. When it's silvery like this, or grayish, your Vanda is telling you that it needs a drink. So, I use my sprayer thingy and I just spray it with water and it should turn green when it does it means it's it's had enough water so another way of another way of Watering Vanda is dunking it in a bucket, which I prefer. I, I leave it there for about 10 or 15 minutes, and when you pull it back out, the roots turn green, and that means it's happy. It's turning a little green there. So um, I water it twice a day. Um, it's now September, but it's, it's still pretty hot. 26 degrees Celsius at night, maybe 30, 31 during the day. I'll show you how I dunk it. Oops. It already turned a little green but I'll show you how I do it you don't have to to immerse the whole plant just the roots leave it there for 10 or 15 minutes and then when you take it back out should be nice green color of course it's not doing that while I'm filming but <clears throat> usually does that there it's a little green now so um, I fertilize my Vanda once a week every Saturday in the morning I use half of the recommended dosage and it seems to like that so again if you can tell me what kind of Vanda this is please let me know I'd love to know Thank you for watching. See you again.